Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Time right now is coming up on 742. And Andrew, it's typically, you know, pretty mild out there this morning, but that's not right. going to be the case for the rest of today and tomorrow. Right. Well, uh, temperatures will be pretty nice and comfortable today. In fact, tomorrow we're feeling like spring, but that warmth doesn't last that long. Basically, the rest of the work week, Tuesday and onwards, we see a big cooling trend. Even by that point, we're not uh, dealing with any big time cold. We're still right around seasonable levels, but we can enjoy the temperatures in the 40s today. It's mainly dry this morning and into the afternoon. Spring like tomorrow, many of us will be in the 50s, even parts of our region close to 60, but then Tuesday and onwards, there come the 30s again. Storm Tracker this morning has a couple areas of low pressure. Uh, pretty potent storm there in northern Florida, another area of low pressure basically right towards Chicago. And the two of these will be coming together and shifting right on up the coast towards the northeast tonight into tomorrow. So that's our potent coastal storm that's on the way. Temperatures, though, this morning are fairly comfortable and mild for this time of year in the mid to upper 30s already, uh, just shy of 8 a.m. here, close to 40 in the Champlain Valley. Valley. So here's the plan moving forward. A few peaks of sun possible first thing, but plenty of clouds expected really uh, as we move forward through the day. They'll be thickening up uh, by midday and into the afternoon. And then here are the first of the showers right around five o'clock or so. And then the shower coverage increases and we could see some embedded downpours as we head into the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning is really when we're keying in on the heaviest of the rain. Some localized downpours certainly possible. So watch out for some ponding on the roads as you head on into work. By the afternoon, the steadiest of the rain will be kind of subsiding, so we're just left with some lingering showers. And then overnight, the rain pretty much goes away. There may be a few snow showers that come into the Adirondacks, and that's because we have some cold air coming in behind the system. So as we move forward through the day on Tuesday, more clouds than sun expected, and with this colder air in place, could have a few passing snow showers through the morning and into the afternoon. Not adding up to too much, though, perhaps some patchy coatings to an inch or two. But the rainfall is the main story with this system. A widespread one to two inches still looks to be the case, especially on the eastern slopes here of the southern Green Mountains. Could be some two to three inch totals. And that's the same deal for the eastern slopes of the Adirondacks. Tracking out these wind gusts this evening starts to get breezy out of the southeast. And with a strong southeasterly wind, a lot of times as the wind rushes down on the western slopes of the Green Mountains, we can see some big time enhancement. So here's 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. The potential is there for some damaging wind gusts over 50 miles per hour. It's still breezy right around midday and then wind uh, tends to subside as we head into the afternoon hours. Here's a look at snowfall totals. Not much again with these snow showers coming in Monday night and through the day on Tuesday. Some patchy coatings to an inch or two, mainly out towards the St. Lawrence River Valley and along the spine of the Green Mountains. So here's the five day forecast. Impactful weather on the way tonight into tomorrow with that rain and wind. We turn cooler on Tuesday with a few of those snow showers and then drier and seasonably cold for the rest of the work week. As of right now, even looking dry heading into Christmas Eve and Christmas Christmas Day.